you can see here that my water from my aquaponic system is actually quite dark right now. I've been letting the water run while I was constructing the rest of it and haven't had any filters or media for it to um, clear the water up. But we'll see what happens when I do put the, the media in. But yeah, you can't even see see the bottom, barely the pipe for my solids lifting overflow. But yeah, that's a, it's pretty dirty water or dark water. In this video, I'm actually going to talk about using a UV light in your aquaponic system. So I have mine here behind me. I actually took it off of an actual UV light picture and just stuck it into my swirl filter through here. You can see here where I have my UV lights. I have the ballast there. It's plugged in and then this is where the light is. So if you saw before, my water was quite green. Now it is much better. You can see that. So basically what a UV light is, it is a purple light that helps get rid of the green floating algae in your water, not the algae on the walls. I still have that. Here you can see the UV light better. Lighting up my whole bin. So that is what I have on my filter over here. You can see that in my swirl filter. It's pretty cool, I think. It actually fit right in the hole of the 55 gallon drum. So, just goes down in there. That is how it looks in my swirl filter. So I basically put it through one of these openings. There's one, one on both sides and then stuck it in here. So it actually works better this way than if I had a, this attached. This is where it usually comes into my pipe. Because the UV, the more exposure the water has to a UV light, the better it works. So this is less exposure, whereas this, it's in this big thing, and it has more exposure. So that is that. I was never used to not be able to see the bottom at all. It looks greener on camera than it is. But it is quite clear, the water. However, after putting it in, I thought to look up and see does UV does the UV light actually harm other things like the back beneficial bacteria and other nutrients for the plants. So I was able to see that the UV light does harm that from looking it up. Behind me right here, you can see my fish tank. I don't have any fish in there right now, but you can see the water is pretty clear. So in this video, you just saw that I went over the UV light. I took it off of this thing because I did mention that it isn't the best for aquaponics it does help in the short term but it can kill some of the bacteria and it's better to have all the bacteria even though if you have grow beds as you can see behind me a lot of bacteria does attach to that so it is fine to have a UV light but I don't recommend it the best solution is to actually to cover it to get rid of the green algae because the sun is what makes it green so to have it clear UV light does work this is my water I have haven't had the UV light on here for more than a month so it's still doing good because of the cover but you can see in the video that it did help get rid of the green water and now that I have this it is preventing the water from becoming green again so if your water is green I do recommend just using it to kill everything so it becomes clear again and then after that cover it up but that is that so thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember if you haven't done so already to subscribe Yo, so check out this Swiss chard. It's not really growing now because I don't have fish in my aquaponic system, but look at the roots. They're purplish pink, that's crazy. That's pretty cool. You don't usually see that in soil gardening, but you can see rainbow Swiss chard roots. That is pretty cool.